Hey guys, Ella Sarah, and I'm going to show you something cool from the Mists of Pandaria expansion. When you level cooking, you could eventually get yourself a noodle cart, and this noodle cart would allow you to sell noodles to your friends. However, they didn't actually give you gold for it. They just were able to purchase from you, and you could dance in the noodle cart, you could cook with it, and um, you could even shoot off fireworks to sort of like draw attention to yourself and you could upgrade it as well there were two upgrades like this version and then there's a deluxe version but it takes so many mats to make that I did not make it this is sort of the mid mid-range noodle cart and I still think it looks awesome so I'm just going to walk you through an overview of the process to get this at the end of it is a really fun um, dining scenario it's like a single scenario where you feed users you'll recognize it looks a lot like a mobile game um, it's a lot of fun and it's repeatable the entire chain starts in Timeless Isle and the coordinates that start it are 52, 46 and you want to head out there on the map. No, it is under the bridge. It is not on it. So you just want to stay on the level and you don't want to take that path up the bridge. So run out there and you'll come to this redstone run and there'll be on the ground this little gray fragment. This will start the quest. If this is not selectable to you, it means you have max cooking. If you have max cooking, the area where you pick up the quest is down south in this little town, this little hut that I'm circling. That's where the uh, lady, the ghost lady who starts the chain will be. So when you reach the little house here, you'll see the ghost walking around and she will give you the quest of the lost secret of the secret ingredient. And this will ask you to defeat the Shah of Doubt. The Shah of Doubt is in the temple of the Jade Serpent and it's the final boss. One warning here, this water boss, if you attack him too fast, he'll bug out. So when you go in, take it slow and only deal damage to the ads that he summons at first until that bubble disappears. Otherwise, it's a, it's a huge pain and you have to hearth out and come back. But once you've cleared the instance, you can get to Sha. And when you kill him, behind him, there is the turn in, which is a scroll on the wall. And when you turn it in, it gives you the next step. And you can use the scroll again to read it and it will summon him directly on this platform behind the boss. So when you kill him, that will complete this part of the quest and you'll be directed to go back to Half Hill to turn it in. When you get back to Half Hill, you want to run to the quest giver and turn it in. She will give you the next step in the quest line, which will give you the first version of the noodle cart. And all she requires you to do is a small quest in the granary um, south of Half Hill. Once you land at the granary, you want to use the little item that she gave you. And this will have you put your hands out to collect the sacks of grain being thrown around by these guys out here. You can tell where they are because the ground will appear like dusty and that's where you stand to catch it so you can only carry five at a time that's your maximum if you try to capture more it just won't go on you so once you have five then you want to run over to the cart it'll have a little green arrow on it so you just run up the hill to the cart and drop it off and then you repeat this until you have 20 out of 20 and then head back to half hill to turn it in when you turn in this part, she's going to give you the next step, which is the upgraded, the deluxe noodle cart. And all you have to do for that is create a noodle cart and go into the Storm Stout Brewery. The only word of warning here is the quest requires you to, to create a noodle cart. So accept the quest before you create a noodle cart kit. Just a warning. I may or may not have created the kit before accepting the quest, which was a giant pain. Once you've created the noodle cart, head out to Storm Style Brewery and just clear to the final boss. If you get to the final boss and you notice you only have like two or three slash of brews, that's okay because everything involved in this final boss scenario drops them. So you'll have more than enough to complete the quest by the time you've killed the boss. Um, these two drop it. And then when you kill um, the next round, which is a bunch of them, um, all of these drop 
drop it to. So you'll definitely finish the instance with every quest item that you need. So back at Half Hill again, you will turn in this part of the quest and you will get your deluxe noodle cart kit and you'll pick up the quest for the next round, the um, Pandarian treasure noodle card kit, which is the maximum level you can get. So create the deluxe noodle card kit and you might notice you have a lot of the materials in your banks on your alts from older expansions that you just threw in there or didn't bother to sell or clean up. So it might be fairly easy to make these. Um, after you make that, you have to go back out to Timeless Isle to kill some turtles for the meat part of this quest. So you can kill these elite turtles along the coast or the little non-elite turtles that are in group. All of these drop it too, so this is a pretty easy part of the quest to just kill a bunch of them and loot the meat. Back again at Hatfill, you turn in this quest and then you get the final challenge. And in order to upgrade, you need to complete a special scenario, which is sort of like a mobile game where you are feeding customers and you seat them and you give them their food and they're happy so it's a lot of fun and it is repeatable after this you can go back anytime and do it when it starts it's a little tutorial your first time in there that basically explains if you're not familiar with how these work of how to um, seat a customer how to prepare food and then you start into the real test which is seating all the customers and feeding a bunch of them. At no time was this challenging. It was just a lot of mindless fun to do and feed the little pandas. So I did find it a fun time and I enjoyed it. I, I will note I never used buttons um, four and five, which are clear your food and clear your queue. It never got that far. It was never that hard. If I had one complaint, it would be to make this a little more challenging or clear. You can just feed the same food to the the people over and over even though they're supposed to have their special types of food eventually you'll find the secret ingredient after a while and complete the scenario when you complete it you turn it in and you've got your pandarian treasure noodle cart kit and you can see the two quests are for the repeatable um, scenario but now you can stand up your noodle cart and yell at your friends when they walk by you to try to offer them food <laughs> So it's a lot of fun and um, something that I really wish there was more of in the game to make this type of item. All right, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>